Welcome to Life in the God Lane. I'm Tom West. Hope you will subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the bell so you get notified every time one of these is put out, which I do. I do one every day. And I'm working through the Ten Commandments. They're foundational to a culture, foundational to America. And we are on number nine. Do not give false testimony. And it's for the first day of February, 2022. Hope you'll subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the bell so you get notified every time one of these comes up, comes out, and um, which is every day. Make comments. Share it with someone else so they can be taught the Bible. And this is from Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 20. Let's just read that verse together. Deuteronomy 5, verse 20. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. Now, some would maintain that this refers to not giving false testimony in court. That would be one of the places it obviously refers to because giving false testimony in court is lying. But if it meant strictly that, it would say in court or before the law or something like that. It doesn't say that. It says, do not give false testimony against your neighbor. In other words, don't lie to people. Don't lie to people. The point is not to go out and tell lies. A lack of truthfulness reduces prosperity and life in a culture. It damages the culture. The greatest of evil are always based on lies. That is giving false testimony, lying about stuff. For instance, Hitler told the lie that Jews were inferior to Aryans. And the people, at least many of them in Germany, believed the lie and exterminated six million Jews. Stuff like that goes on all the time in the world. Giving false testimony wrecks cultures and infects populations. Communism, Marxism, is based on the lie that the government can be the owner of all goods and property and the source of the economy, and a utopia will develop People will end up living in a wonderful utopia. But during the 20th century, Marxism put millions of people in poverty and despair, destroyed their prosperity and destroyed their lives in the 20th century. 100 million people were killed because of Marxism, communism, socialism. And many even today propagate the, the same lie. For some reason, they're taught these theories in college courses. And it's utter nonsense. It's a lie. And it destroys people and kills people. During the last year, 2021, we were told that if people got vaccinated, social distanced, closed down businesses and work and wore masks, that COVID would go away. Didn't work, did it? COVID spread more and more people died than in 2020. And you have to ask the question. This is pretty basic, okay? If, if this all works so good, why isn't it working? If it works so good, why isn't it working? We were being given false information, and prosperity suffered, and people died. That's what happens when, with lies. One of the great untruths today is don't treat criminals like criminals Treat them like victims because they weren't given a fair shake. Don't treat criminals like criminals. It's not fair. So we don't prosecute criminals in a lot of places. And murder, rape, and theft are exploding all over the country. Why? Because people aren't telling the truth. That's why. So how do you know when a politician is lying? His lips are moving. Not all politicians lie. Most of them do. But a lot of people lie. There's a lot of lies out there in the culture. For prosperity and life to flourish, people need to tell the truth. And let me tell you where it starts. It starts with you and me. We need to tell the truth. We need to speak the truth. And we need to hold other people accountable to speak the truth as well. Be truthful. Do not give false testimony. I will see you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a great day.